Okay, so let's take a look at Jay-Z and Beyonce. Will they be divorcing in 2020? I do not have divorce on the table. Actually, I really think they are against divorce. I don't think that divorce is an option for them. I don't think that's something that they even think about doing. I think they have an agreement to probably never divorce. I don't see that happening. Um... Instead, they are going to move right along. They're going to move forward. Um, They may never be the same again, but I see them evolving into something else. I even pulled some cards to see how Jay-Z felt about Beyonce, and he still still loves her. He still loves her. He still cares. Um, and it doesn't feel like the type of passionate love. It doesn't feel like that. It just kind of feels like that's his niece or something. I care about my niece type feeling. That's how it feels. But yeah, he's definitely want to make some changes in 2020 in a relationship. There's certain parts and components of the relationship he does not want to experience again. Um, a certain type of responsibilities that he doesn't want anymore. There are some changes he want to make. I believe those changes will happen. He has no intent on leaving her or abandoning her in any kind of way. I do feel like he threatens her in this way. I think he used that as a um, they use that as a fighting tool. I believe he has said to her, I want a divorce, but I don't believe he'll do it. Definitely not in 2020. I don't feel it. But he wants some things to change in a marriage, and he's trying to be very patient with her. It feels like he wants permission to do things a totally different way. It feels like they're about to evolve their marriage in What marriage means to them is about to evolve in a different way, a new way. And I think that he's the leader of it. He want to make some serious changes, but he definitely do not want to leave her. Um, He's committed to what they have. He's definitely committed. He's more committed to himself than what they have, though. Yeah. The things that he do personally for himself, those are the things that they argue about. They're not having arguments about each other, the love, the romance. That's not the type of stuff that's happening in this relationship. Their conflict is the choices that Jay-Z makes for himself. Because that's his number one focus. He's focused on himself. His marriage is important to him when it comes towards business. It's a good look. I don't see him walking away from her. I don't see him leaving her. But there are some parts of this marriage that he wants changed. And they will be changed. Hmm. He feels so controlling, but not in like a violent or way, just in his mannerisms. It just feels like um, he might be the kind of husband that walk in and say, this one I'm doing, case closed, turn his back and just leave. And she will know not to speak or try again. Yeah. He fights her a little bit different than people probably would think. He shuts down on her a lot. He will go nonverbal to win what he wants. He says what he means. He means what he say. And he walks away. This marriage benefits him in a lot of ways. It's not about what's happening between them. It's about what's happening in them. 
Jay-Z is focused on something so much greater than her and the family. He has his own agenda. That's what I feel. And actually, it's crazy because I was just trying to find out how he felt about her. And the only thing I can hear is he wants some things to change. And they must change. And they will change. Um, Because if they don't change, he's not going to be happy. So there are some things that he wants to do new. There are some things that he wants to change. There are some decisions he's going to make for himself personally that she is going to have to abide by. Case closed. And I don't believe he will say case closed. I believe he'll say it and close the door. Yeah. He knows how to emotionally abuse. That's what I would want to call it. Yeah. Definitely so. No divorce. That's not in the plan. The plan right now for Jay-Z is to get this money. Get this money. He's working on a certain type of image. You know, let me tell you something else, too. Every time I try to do one thing with these people, I hear something else. But I do know about the party, Diddy Party and all that. Um, But I just heard Kanye. And I think that he got something to do with some of his plans. I wouldn't be surprised if these two working together again in some kind of way. I would not be shocked by that. Because Jay-Z is working on image right now. He's trying to work on his image. Money and image. Money and image. That's his two focus right now. His self, money, image. Let me put it in order for you. He's working on his self, image, money. And then as soon as I said that, I saw Kanye's face. I would not be surprised if he is involved in some kind of way in the future. Even if Kanye was involved, it wouldn't be for a relationship and friendship. It would be just to use him. I think he's a user. He utilizes people. But this relationship is going to change based on the things he's about to do for himself. And it looks like she's going to go along with it. I think that's the end of that. He's into himself, his image. Kanye just saw him. And then major changes in the relationship that he wants her to abide by, and she will. These things have to happen because without him doing these things he's about to do in 2020, he wouldn't be happy no way. And that's the first part of a happy marriage is you got to be individually happy. So he got his happy list ready. He's ready to roll. She knows about it. She knows what it's going to take. She knows what it's about. He's working on himself and his image. And he's going to be pulling some other people in, too, to help him with that. I would not be surprised if it has something to do with with whatever. And I do mean whatever. Whatever Kanye is doing. I would not be surprised that all that goes together. Something happened at that party. There were some things that transpired there. Some deals was made that night. <laughs> Somebody sold they sold that, that night. I don't know. I might even come back and do some messages on the party itself because I saw a lot of things in the spirit that did not look right to me or looked it surprising. How does Beyonce feel about Jay-Z? <sighs> She knows what battles she can win and what she cannot win. She's not even stressing over some of this stuff no more. She's not. 
She's not conflicted about the things she know about him. She knows him. She knows him spiritually. She knows him. And she knows what's going to grow and what's not going to grow. She knows he's not going to grow into the man she won't. She knows that. She knows that he has his own agenda for himself. She knows that he's concerned about his image right now. She knows it about him. 2020, she can see. Her vision is good. She know him. That's not a secret. She knows her husband and who she's dealing with. She also don't want to have any more kids either. I just feel that. She don't think that the steps he's taking is going to be successful for him or them. She protects the image of the marriage. He protects the image of himself. That's two different type of things. But that's a good couple. Together, they perfect for each other. <laughs> She's working the image of the marriage, and, he, and he's working his image. But she don't believe that he's making the right choices in 2020. She believes that some of the things he's working on will not be successful. She don't even want him doing the things that he's about to do in 2020. She don't even want to be involved in it. Not at all. She don't want to be involved in it. There's some type of plan or idea for the family as a whole. She don't want to do it. And I think this is one of his ideas. It's something about the family. Something about them as a whole. It's some type of action she do not want to take. Yes, as I said again, I don't feel this lover's type feeling. And I think that's what one of the queens was talking about. I don't feel no passion and love here. I feel like a business. It's a contract. They work in a business. But it's something that she don't want to do. She don't want to do something he want to do when it comes to marriage, religion, God. It's something she don't want to get involved in. He got an idea for 2020 that will help him as an individual, and that will help his image. Why do I feel like he might be getting involved in religion? Maybe that's why I saw Kanye. I don't know. Whatever his plan is, she don't believe it's going to work. She don't want to get involved. She don't see a new beginning in that. That's not the kind of life that she wants. She don't want to take no action in that. She don't want the family to be involved in that. But in the end, she's not walking away from it. No divorce. If anything, it's about to be a new marriage. I say watch Jay-Z. Watch him. Watch what he's doing. Watch him. Watch him in Taurus season. Watch him in Scorpio season. Watch him. Whatever he's doing, she doesn't want him to do it. And she don't want to put her time in, her action, her money, her voice. She does not want to be a part of nothing he's doing in 2020. I just heard she is not Kim Kardashian. She do not want to be involved like that. No. She definitely don't want to grow in whatever he's trying to grow. But it's going to be some changes. And I believe she's going to be a silent partner. As she probably do everything else. But she doesn't agree with some choices that he's making in 2020. She does not agree. She does not want parts in that. How she feel about him? He probably get on her last nerve. Yeah. Weird. They're not compatible when it comes to inner man. They're not compatible when it comes to plans and goals. They're not compatible in that. The only thing they agree on is we're a team. 
They are a team. Even if she hated what he was doing, she'll still support it. They're a team. Buddy and Clyde, is this who they are towards each other? They got a vow to each other. They take the vows very serious <clears throat> when it comes to that part. Jay-Z is the one with all the plans. When his plans that he desires for 2020 involves her and those kids, or maybe the plans that he has affects could affect their image in some kind of way because she's not for it. Is she watching it? She already know what he's up to. They was not at that party for no reason, y'all. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I, it was not no reason. It was a reason. It was certain people there that night for a special reason. I just can't put my finger on it right now. A lot happened that night. Spiritually, some contracts was made that night, some promises, some deals, some things happened that night. That was a meeting. I went to a party. They were having a meeting right in front of our face. They had a reunion. That's what they had. And they had no choice but to be there. They were demanded, commanded to be at that place. This kind of makes me feel like I don't even watch this show. Let me hear him get my butt out of here because I'll be talking to y'all and just talking and talking and talking. But the energies that I'm feeling for them for 2020, I'm going to tell you who it feels like. It's a couple both of them got in trouble for something. Is there a housewife people? I don't know. The Italian couple. The cute lady and, and the man that had the big stomach. And I don't know. He went to jail. I think they took, they're supposed to be taking turns, go to jail. I don't remember their name. I suck. That's the energy I feel. Jay-Z is really stretching himself and pushing himself to the limit on some things. And so, so close to being dangerous. That's what it feels like. Or at least dangerous for her. But yet she still put on a face. And she is totally against it. Totally against it. And definitely don't want her family a part of it. She does not want to be a part of none of his businesses. She don't want to be a part of this new image. She don't want to be a part of nothing new that he's doing in 2020. She does not agree with it. And I don't even know how they feel about each other other than that they are loyal to each other when it comes to keeping us together. But other than that, I don't feel nothing. All right, so that's what I have. And maybe when I get a chance to, probably tomorrow, maybe I can do some messages on um, Diddy's birthday party, which was not a birthday party, but a meeting. (laughs) All righty. I don't know. It's never what you see when you're looking at these people. It's never what you actually see. That's what you don't see. And that don't even make sense. That was corny, but it sounded kind of hot. That's not what I'm trying to say. It's not about what they reject. It's about what they agree to. I think that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I just know one thing. They all work together. That's what I do now. Okay, then. Bye-bye.